Just settle into our bodies. Checking in to see how we're feeling this morning. Tapping into our breath as we breathe in, belly rises. As we breathe out, belly falls. Like to place left hand on the heart, right hand anywhere on the belly, you can choose that option as well to feel the physical rising of belly and chest. So again, as you breathe in, expand the belly all the way up to the heart. And as you exhale, heart down to the belly. Again, deep breath in. Full breath out. Continuing to tap in with the breath. Just expand every single breath. As you inhale, expand the belly the chest, and as you exhale, softening our chest, our ribs, and our belly down. Feeling the lift of the navel in and up on those exhalations. ready, start to take a pause if that feels good for you at the top of the breath. So let's inhale all the way up to the top of the chest. Start 
start to awaken by wiggling your fingertips and toes and circle your wrists and ankles in both directions. Full body reach, stretch, extending arms over the head, point the toes away, breathe in. And let it out. When you're ready, let's hug our right knee in towards our chest, either placing your hands on the back thigh or the shin. And remember, if there's any variation or any movement or any position in your body that's not feeling good for you, just choose modifications in that moment. Breathe in and out, hugging the right thigh. When you're ready, taking the hands to the back of the right thigh, let's give it a cradle here as we gently rock that right hip side to side. Let's extend the right leg to the ceiling, flexion in that foot, and just cradle the back of the hamstring. Let the, let the, um, the hands feel like you're pulling towards you as you're pressing towards the hands. Feeling a nice active lengthening there through the back of the hamstrings. Option to bring it in a little closer. And then as you keep that foot back up in the sky, flex and point through that right ankle and foot. And then circling in one direction and the other. Beautiful, when you're ready, let's bring that right knee one more time back in and lengthen it back out, arms over the head, one breath, one movement. Breathing in and out. Let's hug the left knee in towards the chest. Bring the hands either on the back of the thigh or the top of your shin. Breathing in and out. Draw that navel in and up in that lower belly. Create some space there, a little gentle rock side to side. Inhale, let's extend that left leg to the sky. Remember to just cradle the back of the thigh. You can feel like you want to press the thigh into the hands, but the hands resist to come in. So that push and pull. Just flexion that heel. Really press the heel to the sky like you want to press the sky away. Keeping the low back and the sacrum on the back. Breathe in and out. I wish I could feel Bring it in a little bit more, breathe in, breathe out. Back to neutral, flex and point. Really releasing and activating to the shin and the calves. And then circle in one direction. When you're ready, let's bring both knees in towards the chest. Breathe in and out. Gentle rock side to side.
when we're ready, let's lower both feet to the ground. Moving through our supine warm up still, walk your heels in towards the back of your buttocks. If accessible, if you need more space for the knees, just keep it more out in front. Maybe graze the back of the heels with the fingertips. Good. Open through the chest as you keep the shoulders retracting back and down. Inhale, exhale, and start to raise the hips up towards you. Take a deep breath in and out. Feel the belly lift up towards the heart. Breathe in and breathe out. One more time. Inhale. Start to lower down vertebrae by vertebrae. Reaching the arms over the head, let's move through that flow. One breath, one movement. Inhale, exhale as we raise the hips, lower the arms. Inhale and exhale. Let's keep that neck and head neutral in line with the spine. Really pressing through the feet, especially through the heels. Feel the activation of the glutes. Warming up through the shoulders here as we raise the arms up and over. Two. And one. Taking the arms all the way back up and over. Good. When you're ready, use your mat if you'd like for that abdominal curl or interlace the fingers or hands behind the back of the neck or the head or ears. When you're ready, rise up. Good. Draw the ribs down towards the hip bones. Inhale, lower. Exhale, rise. Keeping that chin lifted off the chest. Keeping your gaze towards your lower belly if that feels good or up and ahead. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, hold at the top, pulse it out, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, let it go, hug it in, knees to chest, massage the belly. Now my bed she smell like you every day you still love me something brand new. Good. Let's take those feet back to the ground. Good. Take it as wide as the edges of your mat. Find those hip sways right to left. If you'd like, turn your neck and head in opposite of the ground. Good. Take it beautiful let's take right arm over the head and roll over onto that right side when you're ready find all fours hands and knees so stacking our shoulders over our wrists and our hips over the knees spreading fingers wide here Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart. Exhale, scoop the belly round the back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, scoop it in. Bring that chin towards the chest in your calf. Feeling a nice opening through the back of the neck. Three more rounds. One more time, everyone. By neutral. Child's pose, knees wide, sit back. Extending arms or stack fists or rest on the floor. Breathing in and out. Good. 
baby, come on. I'm in love with this thing, boy. Massaging forehead, temples, and temples, you like. Inhale up, two all fours. When you're ready, let's start with extending that left leg back, flexion through the heel. Keeping the hip bone square as we extend the right arm out in front. Again, lift the core belly muscles up and in. And low. When you're ready, right leg extends, flexion through that heel, left arm extends up. And lower. Moving through the flow. Right arm, left leg, inhale, exhale. Move at your own perfect pace. Listen to your body, always. Letting go of our expectations, letting go of judgment, and letting go of competition. Feeling, breathing, and being fully present in the moment. Good, a few more rounds here. Great way to help strengthen the back muscles and the core, especially if you're not able to be on your belly, this is a great alternative. One more on each side. Beautiful. When you're ready, take the hands out in front, shift your weight forward, engage that core. If being on your belly is not accessible, you can always find child pose. When you're ready, lowering down elbows and chest and chin to the mat. You can always try sphinx pose as well, elbows under shoulders. Roll the shoulders up and back, find cobra. Exhale as we lower. Keep the tops of the feet down. Inhale, cobra. Lift the heart forward. Exhale as we lower. One more time. And low. Tucking toes, let's push up and back to our first down dog this morning. Had to let the feet walk it out. Good, and just really feel that lengthening through the back of the calf as you're pressing the heel down and back. Good. When you're ready, let's pull down. We're done. Take a deep breath in. Big sigh out the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Start to walk our feet to the top of the mat. Let's find that forward fold, soften the knees, reaching for opposite elbows, find your forward fold here. Gentle rock side to side. And then release the arms, inhale to halfway lift, find that flat back, exhale fold. When you're ready, rise and shine, swan dive all the way up. Exhale to your mountain pose. So find your mountain here. So at the top of our mat, feet can either be hip distance apart or the big toes touch. Yogi's choice there. And see what feels good on your back. Rolling our shoulders up 
and back. Inhale, reach all the way up to the sky. Feel the feet rooted down. And as we exhale, let's start to hinge at the hips, soften the knees, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale as we pull. Planting hands, stepping back, left and right foot for your plank. Down dog. Inhale back to plank, to kneeling. Elbows in, hover, and push back, child's pose. Inhale forward, bring those elbows into the wrists. Pushing up and back. So watch that we're not flopping the belly down, that we're keeping the core engaged, keeping the hips and the shoulders aligned. Triceps are working hard here as your elbows point back and close to the rib cage. You got it. A few more rounds. Last one, everyone. Exhale, tucking toes, down dog. Press away. Options, take that right leg up to three-legged dog split. Try to keep that square through hips and shoulders. Lower the right foot down, inhale, left leg goes up, three-legged dog split. Lowering down, start to walk into the top of the mat. Use the core, exhale, forward fold. Let's nod our head, yes, no, and yes again. Halfway lift. Hands to hips, rise all the way back up. Find your mountain. Good. So we're gonna move into more of our hoffa to start. So bring your feet so that the big toe pads touch. And then when you're ready, we're gonna swing the arms all the way up by the ears. Now option to bring hands through heart as you sit back into your chair. Maybe starting there, see how that feels for you. Check that your knees are behind your toes. Lift up Mula Bandha, watch the collapsing. Lift through the core. An option to extend those arms all the way out and up. Feel the power there through that navel in and up. Feel the pelvic floor lift, feeling your shine your heart shine forward even more. Pressing the arms further back if you'd like. Bringing those hands back through heart center. Okay, maybe sit back a little bit deeper. Inhale, rise. Gentle back bend. Exhale, swan dive forward fold, reach for the back of the heels. Halfway lift, active back. Good, as you exhale, fold. Swan dive all the way back up. Twisting chair, so you're gonna exhale as you sit back into chair, extend right arm in front, left arm back. Try to make sure your hips and knees are square. And then circle the left arm up, inhale all the way. And then exhale, find your twist to the right. Inhale, circle. Exhale, twist the belly, ribs, chest. Focus on that torso, inhale up. Right side. Inhale. Just really getting more rotation there. You got it. Inhale all the way up. Now find our static hold so you can stay here or rest right hand on the outside of the left knee, left hand small the back. 
You want to take it deep or reach your right elbow outside the left knee, left hand on top for your chair twist. Lifting up through the heart. Breathe in and out. Steady the gaze back through center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. And when we're ready, you're going to exhale, start to twist to your right. And then option to rest the right hand on the back, left hand on the outside of the knee and find your twist. We're sinking down a little deeper, reaching left elbow and then right hand on top. Knees together, checking in, hips are square and back. Press those palms firmly together there if you're in the chair twist. Dropping the hips a little bit lower for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise and shine. Gentle back bend, extend. And then exhale through heart center. Nice. We're going to take a wide stance. If you need water at any point, remember to take a sip of water. So let's take a nice wide stance on our mats. Turn those toes out. Rooting and grounding in a great heat builder here is our moonflower poses. So bringing and also strengthening the back, keeping your elbows towards the back body. We're going to exhale up. Inhale, pull down and in. Exhale. Yep, you got it. Inhale, exhale. Find your breath. You got it. Keep focusing on that breath. Let's find those sun poses. So extend your arms out to the side, micro bend those elbows, fingertips all touch. Sinking down if you can, a little bit more lift through the pelvis. Ready, straight up and down, inhale and exhale. Pressing those knees again to the back wall, to the pinky toe. Chest is up. All I want to do is see I care. Five. Find gratitude. Always keep that heart open and lift it with all goodness. Two. Ready? Moving into the sunflower flow. The arms. Inhale, exhale, rise. Inhale, sitting back, flat back. You got it. Let's go for three. Two. Last one. Hands through heart center. Bringing our feet parallel. Beautiful. Taking hands to hips. Let's just turn that right foot out. So heel to back, arch of the foot or heel to heel and lunging into our right knee, pressing it to middle the pinky toe. And check your left hip is roll back. Extend the arms across the chest out in front and behind. Engage the triceps there. You can kind of see it there in those muscles. So you want to keep your shoulders in their sockets, right? Arm bones in the shoulder sockets, looking over your right here. Nice. Let's straighten the right leg, arms up, inhale, exhale down, inhale, 
lengthen, exhale, sink down. You got it. Last one. Right palm up, a little reach. Reverse warrior. Stretch that side body and lengthen and lift, opening up those intercostal muscles. Engage that hula bandha to protect that low back. Good, back up through center. Let's find our supportive side angle. Right forearm to the thigh, open up through the heart. Circle the left arm down and up. And then see if you can get a deeper opening there. Bottom rib cage up. Breathe in and out. Ready, circle through left shoulder. Three, two, one. Switching directions for three, two, and one. Rise up, warrior two. Straightening the right leg, right foot comes. Let's press the arms behind you for chest expansion. A little further back here. So squeeze there through the shoulders and the back. As you extend the arms, find your wide-legged chest expansion here, forward fold. Breathing in and out, shifting weight into the soles of the feet as well. arms up, inhale, coming in and out of the earth, exhale, sinking down, you got it. Holding here, left palm up a little reach, reverse warrior, remember right hand can either be on the back thigh or around the back, find the length as you reach. Warrior two, finding supported side angle. If you'd like, circle that right arm out in front and back up, shoulder to shoulders or side, kiss the shoulder blades back. Here we go for three, two, and one. Switching directions for three, two, and one. Take it all the way up. Inhale, warrior two. Left leg comes in. Hands to the hips. Good. Inhale, exhale, find wide-legged forward fold. Taking the hands flat if you can to the ground. This is where you can also use your blocks or books. So make sure you're in a nice tall spine here. Right, so nice flat back. And then walking in and as you hinge from the hips, bringing the crown of the head to the earth, seeing how much you can fold forward. And a lot of core muscles are being worked here. So active through the core, open through the back body, breathe in and out. Heel toe it out a little bit more. Maybe the crown of the head rests on a block or on the floor. Nice. Inhale, walk it out in front. Good. As you exhale, heel toe the feet in. A little closer. Hands to thighs. Rise up. Great 
job, everyone. Coming back to the top of our mats. So we're going to move through a few flows. You know your body. So if you are going through anything that doesn't feel good in your body, like I said, on your belly or anything, just choose modifications. Settle in a pose like child's pose. Inhale, sweeping up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Halfway left. We're going to plant those hands and we're actually going to step back left leg first. Left knee to the mat. Find our low lunge. Opening up to the front body through those psoas and hip flexors. Good, let's find that fold. Stacking the hands under shoulders, right knee goes back. Engage Mula Bandha, shift forward, bring those elbows in. Finding Cobra or Up Dog. And then as you exhale, tucking toes, pushing up and back down dog. When you're ready, take your right foot, step it through inside that right hand and left knee comes back down. Inhale all the way up to the sky again. You can even just stay here neutral, lift and reach, feel the psoas, the hips sink down on that left leg and keep that right heel pressing into the floor. Find your fold. Tuck the back left toes. Step your left foot forward. Forward fold. Rise up, inhale. Mountain. Continue to move through the flow. Inhale, rise. Exhale, swan dive. Send the hips back. Halfway lift, flat back. Planting hands, right leg goes back. Right knee to the mat. Untuck or tuck the toes. Keep the left heel pressing down and lace the right foot. Lift. So many times we're collapsing in the joints. Lift and extend. So you're getting into fascial there and muscle tissue. Good. When you're ready, fold forward. This time, find your flow in plank or come back to kneeling. Chaturanga, shift onto the toes. Up dog or cobra. Down dog, let it go. When you're ready, step the left foot through. Right knee down, low lunge. Lengthen, lift. Let's find that fold. Tuck the back toes. Step forward to the top of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale, rise. Mountain. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, swan dive. You got it. Halfway lift. Planting hands. Stepping back, plank. Nice straight line of energy here. Lift up that core. When you're ready, on the knees or high on the toes, chaturanga hover, up dog or cobra. Very powerful pose, so never be hard on yourself. It's a lot of core and upper body strength there. Take it back, down dog. So let's take the right leg up, three-legged dog. Flexion here at the knee as you stack that right hip over the left. That's optional. Keep that right shoulder square. When you're ready, we're going to square that off. Bring the knee to nose, engage the core, step it through inside that right thumb. Nice. Drop that left foot into warrior one. So we're squaring towards the front of our mat. Exhale, find your fold. Pivot, step back, plank. Fold, chaturanga. Up dog or cobra. Down dog, let it go. 
when you're ready, left leg goes high, bending at the knee. You can point the toe away if you'd like there and then stack it over that right side. When you're ready, square that off. Knee to nose, scoop, scoop, scoop. Step the left foot inside that left thumb. Drop that right foot down and in. 45. Warrior one. Modify by shortening your stance. Left hip back, right hip forward. Ribs in. Let's find that fold. Stay low. Find your plank. Modify on the knees or find chaturanga hold for five, four, three, two, up dog. Shoulders back, lift the heart. When you're ready, tuck the toes, down dog. Nodding our head, no, and yes. Checking the knees come down, child's pose. Take a pause there for five more breaths. Ready, everyone, find your way up to quadruped, all fours. Nice. So let's massage those wrists. So all we're doing is externally rotating out. So the fingertips are pointed towards you or not. You don't have to go all the way in. Maybe lean back, lift the heel of the hands. Press back down. Again, very subtle. Nice, and then let's find our way back out all the way through. Now, forearms here, turning the palms up, fingertips towards you. To get a deeper stretch, you just lean back, but make sure that the area at the top of the hands there are, is down. Watch the lifting here. Keep it down and rooted. Inhale forward. Exhale. Again. As you bring yourself back up, turn the fingertips towards each other. And then when you're ready, we're going to lead the chest to the ground as the elbows go out to the side. Inhale. Exhale, press away. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Good. Letting that go. Take your arms out in front. Gentle circles. Good. Zigzag. Interlace the fingers. Nice. Let that go. Shake it out and sweep each arm. Good job. When we're ready here, we're going to come into side plank. So we're going to kickstand the right leg as you extend the left leg over. Open up side body here. Keep that right knee under the right hip, keeping the back toes tucked. And then if you'd like, float the left leg up, press that heel away. Lift up, Mugabanda. 
Nice. If you like, take the foot out in front a little bit. Right foot behind the left. Keep the shoulder stacked. Right wrist, right shoulder aligned. Good. When you're ready, bring that right knee back down. Bring the left knee in and swing that left arm over to the right and side stretch here. Over to the right side. Left hip to left heel. And you let go. Find your way back through center. And then when you're ready, you can simply walk the left hand over to the left side and extend your right leg out, right arm up. Finding the right leg up. Flexion in that right heel. Lift Mula Bandha there. Strengthening also through the hip. Feel the muscles really lift up and in as you press that right heel, shoulders are back. Shoulders stacked. Holding there if you'd like, or lower the right leg. Stay there. Or bring left foot behind the right. Find your full variation to your side plank. Nice. Left knee comes down, right knee, and then stretch, side stretch over to your left. Inhale back through center and let your arms rest by your lower legs. Find your fold here in child. By those knees rolling up. Find kneeling position here. If you'd like, take a block between your inner thighs for camel. A great extension for the thoracic spine. It's a tummy toner without any pressure on your abdomen. And a nice heart opener. So squeezing the block. Tucking toes is optional there. If you'd like to shorten the lever, keep the tailbone down, arms go up. And choose fists or palms to the back of the sacrum. So above the buttocks, below the low back, that triangular shape bone, keep the tailbone down and then extend through the sternum bone, lifting up and back as you feel like your hips are anchored towards the wall in front. Only know you love her when you let her go. And you let her go. Inhale up. Chin to chest. Let's release the block. Find your way in table. A little counter here. Thread the needle. Right arm goes up. And under and across that left side, resting on the right shoulder, right ear. Find your softening pose here. Option to keep this left palm exactly as you have it, or extend it out in front, stretch the lats, or reach it towards your right hip for a half bind. Breathing in and out. Inhale, bring that left palm in, press. Exhale here. 
Left arm goes up. Thread the needle under and across your right side, left earlobe down. Right hand is in front or the center if that feels good. Hips are square and high to the side. Bring that right palm in, press up. Give yourself a nice cat back stretch here. Inhale to neutral. We're gonna swing our legs out to one side and find a seat on our mat. Option again to place a block between your inner thighs or not. When you're ready, you're gonna lean slightly back, slightly on that tailbone as we float either one leg up at a time or find your full boat. Legs are parallel, so you want the knees and the ankles one straight line here. Lift up through that heart. Making sure we're activating through that solar plexus there at the rib cage. Tall through the crown, maybe straight the legs. Shake me today. When you're ready, let that go. Lift up through the heart, lengthening up. Feet are a good hip distance apart. Walk the hands behind you, not too far back. You want those shoulders to stack right over those wrists. Inhale, exhale, lifting up into our table. lower. Good. Find a seat there on your mat, extending our legs out in front. Fleshy bits away if you'd like. Seated staff pose. Hands can just rest right by the sides of your body there. Close your eyes. Inhale the arms up. As you exhale, find your forward fold. Letting go. Legs come out in front, cross-legged, even just one heel underneath the knees, whatever you can do to lock it in. And then we're gonna just simply take that right hand outside the left thigh there above the knee, left arm behind, inhale, lengthen tall through the crown. Exhale, twisting belly, ribs and chest to our left. Gently release, take the left arm up and over towards your right side. Inhale all the way up. Can you cross this left hand over onto your right leg? And then you're gonna inhale, lengthen, exhale, bend. Chin to chest. Inhale, straighten. Release the right arm behind you. Exhale, twisting right. Now 
Now gently release the twist as you side bend over to the left. up. Bring that right hand, if you'd like, take it to the knees to create more space. Lengthen, chin to chest, bend your elbows out in front, fold forward. Inhale as you come up, release. Good. Stretch those legs out in front, shake that out. Bringing the soles of the feet together for Baddha Konasana. Either hands on your ankles or around the soles of your feet. Inhale, lengthening. And as we exhale, find your fold. Elbows can come inside the lower legs or out in front. Inhale, lengthen. Stretch that out. When you're ready, bend your knees. Keep your two blocks by your side. Find your way onto your backs. If you'd like, hug one knee in and then the other. Lowering the left foot to the ground, find thread the needle, right ankle over left. Option to reach your hands to the back of your left thigh or the left shin bone, yogi's choice. Continue to breathe into those tight spaces. One, two, two, three. One, two, three. Inhale, lower. Uncross that right leg. Give it some gentle movement side to side. When you're ready, left ankle over right, find thread the needle here, back of fire shoot. Not cause like this, oh, fear. When you're ready here, find your happy baby pose, knees towards your armpits, reach for inside or outside soles of the feet. Keep the sacrum on the mat, untuck the toes. Hallelujah. Ready, bring the legs together. Find supine twist over to your right. Hallelujah. Breathe in and out. Hallelujah. Inhaling up. Exhale over to the left. Faith was strong, but you needed proof. Inhaling up through center. Give it a hug and squeeze. Letting go. So option to come into bridge with a block underneath the sacrum. Or find your way to fish pose using blocks. You can do higher or flat between the blades. You can always just take it to the ground, find this gentle activation. Deeper would be more narrow and high. Crown of the head tilts back. Send 
One more time. Inhale, love and light. Exhale, all stress and tension. Awakening by wiggling your fingertips and toes, circling your wrists and ankles. Gently. Either hugging the knees in, full body reach, stretch, or bow. Do whatever feels good for you in this moment. I'll unmute everyone as well now. So when you're ready, we'll roll over to our right or left side body as we close this practice together in union. Find seated lotus pose. And when we're ready, we're going to inhale, sweep the arms all the way up to the sky. With love and gratitude, always start to lower down to connect back to our minds, to our bodies, and to our spirits at the heart as we bow. The divine and the love and the light in my heart honors the divine and the love and the light in yours. Wishing you always much more health, more peace, and more happiness. Remember to be good to you and be good to others. And honoring one another and our yoga back this morning. Namaste. Namaste. Okay. Yay. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Hope you enjoy it. Have a lovely 